Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and today we're working on this Mercedes CLA 250 and as you can see, there are ESB and engine warning lights on the dashboard. The customer complaint is, when the engine is running, he cannot switch between gears and therefore the steering wheel is quite stiff. With that being said, let's diagnose this car together. So first of all, I've run a quick scan on this car and at first glance, you can see that we have a lot of four coats and one of them is on the ESP. To be more specific, the four coats are related to the L6-2 and L6-1 which are the right and left front axle RPM sensor or the ABS sensors. Accordingly, VACM also triggers two four coats and they are related to our left and right front wheel speed sensor. Moreover, we also have a DTC on our transmissions and as I mentioned before, a stiff steering wheel. So before doing anything, I'm going to explain how the ESP works. The ESP operates in conjunction with the anti-lock braking system, the ABS, and traction control system, the TCS. The ABS is a port designed to maintain traction and enable steering during severe braking by preventing lockup. Whereas the TCF helps a vehicle drive wheel maintain traction during accelerations. Put more simply, the ABS stops the wheels from spinning while braking and the TCF stops the wheels from spinning while accelerating. The ESP operates mostly through the ABS but also relies on the TCS to detect subtle differences between the driver's control input and the actual response of the vehicle. The purpose of the ESB is to constantly monitor steering wheel angle in relation to the actual direct of travels. Measuring individual wheel speed, yaw angle, and steering angle 25 times per second. In doing so, the ESB helps compensate for driver's errors that would otherwise affect lateral dynamics, whereas the ABS and traction control system do the same for longitudinal dynamics. If the car loses lateral traction and either the front or rear start to slide sideways, the ESB reacts by mitigating the cause of the skid, reducing power when appropriate, and applying individual brakes as required to help force the car to follow the steering angle. In the event of understeer, the ESB applies the brake to the inside rear wheel to help the car rotate more, whereas if oversteers is the issues, the ESB triggers the outside front wheel brake to create a more helpful pivot point. Uh, so before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the block diagrams where they demonstrate how the ESB works. So the ESB gathers information of the wheel speed by the ABS sensor L6-1 to L6-4. Then the ESB will send a corresponding signal to the ECM through can -E, and from there, it will control the transmissions to change gear with the appropriate load of the vehicle. Furthermore, the ESP also relates to the ABS and resulting in the stiff steering wheel. These explain why when we run a quick scan, there's a lot of full codes stored in our ESP, ECM and our dual clutch transmissions. So after analyzing all the possible causes, we can see that it all starts with our front axle ABS sensors. It can either be the faulty sensors, unbroken reluctor ring at the propeller shaft, or maybe the signal is not being transferred due to the open circuit. So off camera, we've already checked the reluctor ring and they're in good shape. Then we're gonna go ahead and checking our sensor by measuring their resistance. As a result, one of them is short circuit and the other is having too high resistance. At this point, we can conclude that our sensor are malfunctioning and we're gonna replace them. For your information, a good ABS sensor will have a resistance spec at around 560 ohms. So after replacing our ABS sensors, we can see that there's no longer any warning lights on the dashboard. 
the transmission is perfectly shifted and our steering wheel is back to normal. Now, we can say that our problem has been solved. To recap, today's problem is related to the wheel speed sensor. The malfunction sensor is not sending any signal to determine the speed of our wheels resulted the lack of communication to its relevant components on our Mercedes CLA250. After replacing it, the four quotes are all gone and everything is back to normal. If you have any questions or having a hard time with your car, feel free to contact us and we will help you as soon as possible. We really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.